Hello and welcome to Sublimation, Resin, and more with TK. So welcome to my YouTube channel. I started this channel because I wanted to show many people the mistakes that I made and some of the successes that I've had in doing sublimation and resin. So what you all are going to see on this video is going to highlight some of the projects that I've worked on. This is one of my projects I did as a labor of love for my daughter that graduated from college um, back in December. And so I made over 50 coffee mugs for her graduation gift. So what I'm showing you is how I actually printed this out. Um, I had to go to my computer and set, set, put the settings together and I'll give you all those numbers. But just keep this in mind that whatever coffee mug you use is going to vary from one person to the next. So the measurements that I use may not be the same for you. But what I'm showing you is how I had to cut the paper out and I put the two slips together. But when you measure around the cup, you want to measure the height of the cup and the width of the cup, making sure that you leave space for both. Now, you want to have a little over the lip part of your mug so that there is an overlay or what we call a bleed section so that when it prints out, you won't have any problems. Okay, you, you will be able to have a smooth print. Now, I've taped the cup down into the sides. And what I've also noticed is that some people will actually cut two pieces out, but I chose not to do that. I actually kept the two pieces together. Now, I do want to point out that what I'm doing now is putting the cup inside the uh, heat press machine. And I'm using a, part, a piece of parchment paper because if you use a Teflon paper, it doesn't give, the, give enough heat to the cup. So I use the parchment paper instead. Um, I put this on 400 degrees for, um, I believe it was 280 seconds. I'll go back and verify that number. But you want to make sure that you're very careful and conscious because you do not want to overburn your cup either. Once you take the cup out, you need some like a oven mitten or some oven gloves because it's going to be very hot. That cup is so hot that it can burn you. So you want to make sure that you gently release it. I've also broke a cup too, so you want to be very careful. I broke the cup because I I broke the handle because I put it put too much pressure on uh, the handle and when I push the lever up it cracked now what I'm doing here is putting it in water so I'm going to talk a little bit about that um, and I'm going to give you some tips on what to do some people don't want to do this process they would rather let it sit out and cool down and that's fine too but I chose to put it in water what I'm showing you here you probably heard that little sizzling sound that's because the mug was very hot and that's okay. It's going to be hot. But what you want to do is cool the cup, the cup down uh, with the water, but make sure the water is not cold. The water should be room temperature, lukewarm, so that you can go ahead and implement the um, ink. It, it, the ink is not going to come off at all. So you're good to go with that. So again, I just slightly remove it out. Um, it, the coffee mug is very, very hot. But be very careful when you take the picture off. You may have to have like a little prick or a toothpick or something sharp to kind of unloosen it if you have any trouble. But once you do that, um, you will be able to insert it inside this pail of water. So I hope this video has been very helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more videos that show you how to resin and sublimate and more. Happy crafting. Peace.